Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see how to run our Postman collections through the GitHub Actions. So in our previous video, we have seen how to run our Postman collections with the Jenkins, right? So we have created some job in the Jenkins and we were passing this, I mean, we have installed the Node.js and we have installed the Newman. Along with the Newman, we have installed the HTML extra report library also. And we were executing this command and we were publishing the HTML report on the Jenkins, right? So if you, so if you, if you look at here, the source code management part, right? So here we are directly pointing, I mean, we are directly calling this our JSON file location here, right? So if you want to integrate with your source code as a GitHub, right? So you can use the GitHub. So for that already I have made the video. So you can go to my playlist. So in the playlist, uh, you can see it here. Okay, so this is a video. Okay, so this is a video that you have to look for it. Okay, and bottom, uh, you can see one more video, which is Postman you can, Human Integration with the Azure DevOps. So this is the one. Okay, so you can watch uh, these two videos to get to know about more details, how we can run the collections uh, from the GitHub repository directly instead of pointing our local JSON file. Okay, so here you can see we are pointing the local JSON file instead of do that. So we can take it from the GitHub, which is our source code repository. Okay, so now uh, we are going to see how to do this via GitHub actions or the GitHub also you can go to this action where you can run your CACD pipeline, right? So I have, I have, I mean, uh, pushed the code already. So if you go to my repository, so this is a repository which I have my collection file along with the environment JSON file under this collections folder. Okay, these are the two files which I have. So what we have now is just go to the actions button on the particular repository and you can go for a new workflow button, okay? So the moment when you click on the new workflow, there are a lot of workflows are available. You can see the suggested for this repository is a simple workflow. Okay, so here you can see, this is a simple workflow that is uh, suggested by the GitHub. Okay, so you can use this. Otherwise, no, if you want to go for a different repository, I mean, different uh, uh, workflow, for example, you can, you can find the Maven, Right, and you can find this. You can see the all the repos. I mean, all the workflow that is applicable for your project. Okay, so you can you can see something else also. So if you go to this continuous integrations, and even explore, like there are a lot of uh, things are available. Okay, so here you can see the Maven also. If you are going to execute the Maven project, you can see and is available. Node.js project is also available. Right. So you can you can pick up any one of them for for new man use case which is a postman collection. So they are suggesting they are recommending the simple workflow. Okay. So this is what I have created earlier. So here you can see the new man CLI. Okay. So nothing it will create one YAML file. So the YAML file is to run our GitHub action. So there will be steps. Okay. So if you look at this uh, this Azure DevOps. So there also the same thing, uh, you can use the classic editor in the Azure DevOps, but when it is come to the GitHub, you have to use the YAML file. Okay, in the Azure DevOps also, you can use the YAML file. So the YAML file is required for to run your pipeline steps. Okay, so the moment when you create this, you can rename this. So this is nothing, your pipeline name. Okay, so if I go to the actions here, you can see this is a new man CLI, which is I named. Okay, so this is a, just a name. You can give any name related to your project then controls on. So when on you can see, so this will be triggered when you use this command push and pull request on the branches. So this branch, I have only master branch on this particular repository. So whenever the code push to this particular repository or whenever code is pull request is created, so this pipeline will automatically run. Okay, so that is what this meaning. And you, I mean, you can use this workflow Dispatch, which means you can run your workflow from the GitHub Actions tab also. So, for example, if I go back to the workflows, okay. If I go to Actions, so from directly here also, you can run this workflow. Okay, let me select this workflow. You can see run workflow button will be available. Okay, so this is a line for this. Uh, Workflow dispatcher, you can see here. This has 
this workflow has a workflow uh, works i mean work slow dispatch event trigger okay so now let's go inside this file okay if you want you can use otherwise if you want to run it from your actions github actions tab then you can use this command okay so next the job will start which is step by step uh, the first step it is uh, on the build right so i have to run it on the my ubuntu latest machine okay so the next step one is we have to check out this repository so that checkout is happening and i have created one step name which is a create the directory because i want to publish my artifact to generate the html report so that is a step that i am doing it here after this we have to install the node.js so i am installing the node.js with the particular version you can use 17 16 18 also and then following with this we are going to install the new okay so this is one step for installing the node.js this is another step for installing the new man and html extra report after that we are running the collection with the help of this command new man command and you can see i'm exporting the report also here okay so the report location will be here sample artifacts slash report.html so after that i'm publishing a report on the same location where i have generated the report okay so these are the steps that you have to write so this is i mean very simple and straightforward so once this is done uh, now let's go and run it manually okay so i'm just going to click on this run or flow button okay now you can see the workflow started so when you go inside this cli you can see the build is started okay so just click on this you can see the steps that we have defined in the yaml file it is it is started okay it is it it, it got to install the node and it is going to install the new man so after installation of new man now the collection will execute you can see the collection is executed and the report also generated okay it is very fast so now everything looks clear you can see it is coming as a green which is all the run fast so the build is fast so now if you go to this cassis sorry so inside this you can go to scroll down and you can see the artifact so this is a report okay the report that we have generated just click on this so it will be downloaded as a zip file so i can open okay so the report is downloaded so when i open this report so here you can see the same HTML report what we generated in the normal. That is what is generated. Okay, so totally I have three requests inside this. So post, get put, everything got executed. Okay, so this is how we have to run the our GitHub actions for the new man. Okay, so in the YAML file, so we have defined one more thing which is uh, automated, right? So whenever you push the code and whenever the pull request is created, the code has to run automatically, right? So that one also we have defined in the YAML file. So if I go to this uh, YAML file here, so here you can see on trigger, right? So controls on on trigger. So whenever the push the code or pull request is being created. So now let me go back to the repository. So this is one sample file, which is, I mean, just an empty file JSON I have. So what I'm going to know, I'm going to do the modification here. So I'm just going to add one more test and I'm going to commit this, okay? So the moment when I commit, so the push is happening. So automatically the build has to trigger. Okay, you can see the build is triggered. So you can see update, I mean sample JSON, which is a file that we have updated now. So this is going to run it again, the build is started. You can see again, the same steps will be followed here also. Okay, so this is for on trigger, right? So on workflow trigger. So we have, I mean, selected as a pull request as well as the push. So whenever you push changes to this particular repository, the job will run automatically. Okay, so this is how you have to create the GitHub actions. So it is very simple and straightforward. You can go to, I mean, you can go to the actions tab. So here you can go for a new workflow. The moment when you go for a new workflow, you can select this suggested I mean, workflow repository, simple workflow. So after that, so one YAML file will be created so that YAML file will look like this, okay? Then we have to modify the things. We have to, I mean, uh, configure like this. 
So whenever you want to push the code or build requests and workflow dispatch and what machine it has to run, right? And you have you can you can mention the steps that you have to represent the sequence of the task. Okay, so here we are just creating one directory to to store our I mean to publish our artifacts. Then you can install the Node.js. Then you can install the new man. Then run collection. Then publish the code. Okay, the same step how we do in the Jenkins also, right? So the Jenkins these two these two steps I mean these three steps are pre-filled. Like you have to do in the global tool configurations. So here you have to do all the things, all the steps you have to write, and you have to execute them. Okay. So that's all about this video. Uh, if you have any uh, doubts or questions, uh, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you, guys.